Well, look, no doubt that the next Conservative leader, whoever they are, is going to have a huge challenge on their hands. When you look after all the Tory infighting at the knock-on effect that has had, at the impact that has had on the Conservative Party's popularity, it really does lay bare the challenge. You've got Chris Hopkins here commenting on a Savanta Comrades poll, saying that this poll is the largest lead for any party in any poll since May 2021, the lowest Conservative vote share in any poll since September 2019, and the largest Labour lead in any poll since February 2013. And this is a massive lead for Labour in this poll. It's a 15-point lead for uh, Labour. The first Savannah Comrades poll since Boris Johnson resigned. And you see there the Conservatives down for in the 20s there on 28%. Labour up to on 43%. The Lib Dems up one on 12 And that was a poll of over 2,000 uh, people done between the 8th and 10th of July. And it really does show you the challenge the next Conservative leader is going to have. And in my opinion, the only way that they're going to get another majority is if they keep together that Brexiteer, Lever, uh, coalition of support that gave the Tories that big pro-Brexit majority. You guys who watch my channel, the Tories need to be winning back your support. Consider the fact that before Boris Johnson announced his resignation, you know, the Tories weren't that far behind Labour in the polls. It was about a five to six point lead in a lot of the polls, but that has now been whacked up into big double digit leads, 15 point lead here for Labour. And let me know in the comments below, who do you think is best placed as the next Conservative leader to reverse this trend, overtake Labour again and win the next election? I certainly have been impressed with Suella Braverman and Cammy Badnock, but let me know your pick in the comments below, guys. And of course, as ever, guys, cheers for watching.